we are manifestors we are um, filled with seed and we are also seed sowers every human being who's alive has seeds in them that have been planted somewhere in their life before and i'm not talking just physical seeds like the fact that an egg and a sperm came together and created a child all those things our parents said to us lovingly when we were little i mean granted they also said things probably that they'd like to take back we all say things in moments that are not totally creative all those teachers that inspired us to think for ourselves all those books we read all those exciting experiences we had in museums creating art i don't know about you but i still remember some of the pieces of art i created in elementary school as simple as they were because someone suggested um use this start with this and do something new I remember the first time someone told me to tell the story of my life as if I were an observer of myself. These are all seeds that have been planted that are still being held and still manifesting more form, more fruit, more possibility. I wrote these words um, this morning that I'd like to share. May the seeds of my thoughts inspire my world to create and reveal the grand design with me may the seeds of my thoughts inspire my world may the seeds of my heart warm and protect the sprouting shoots in my field and inspire them into their glory and beauty may the seeds of my surrendered living establish the foundation and the strength of the vibrational cathedral built by the sons and daughters of the big love, the sons and daughters of God. We get to sow the seeds and then hold the fertile atmosphere with our thinking, with our feeling, with our spiritual surrender, so that something wonderful keeps being built. This cathedral we've been speaking about is not a structure that's now it's done, put away the blueprint and let's just visit it once in a while. This is a living cathedral. It is a vibrational experience. It is constantly having things slide in and slide out and not in a way of saying, um, of grieving the death of them. It's like, well, now this is being built and that, that cycle is finished. And in that cathedral are the, um, the cycles of some water and some heat, some earth to allow foundation for those seeds to have roots to establish themselves. Another room in the cathedral needs to be built for another creative function. Another choir loft so that there could be new songs to be heard. 